These are a few examples of possible uses for regular expressions with the regex match autosuggest provider in Studio. For my first example, I have created an expression to give me the format of the first day of the month in this way, like this, which is what we use in Spanish. So I simply type the number one and I get two options, which is my regular format for the date and the one for the first day of the month. I'm going to choose this one. If I go to my next date, I can see that this is a placeable in Studio. And in fact, if I use my keyboard shortcut for the placeable, I will find that. But um, sometimes I have projects or packages where date recognition or auto substitution is disabled. And this is where this comes in very handy. I have another rule set up here for the full date. This is the rule right here. And um, that means that when I type the first number, I get the suggestion directly from the regex match auto suggest provider. Simply click enter and get the whole thing in the segment. For this one, it's the same thing. Just um, type the first number and I get the date according to the rule that I set up. Here, this is not a full placeable in Studio when you just have the month and the year. So I created a rule here to help me with that. I type the first letter of the month in Spanish and I can get the suggestion either in lowercase or with an initial capital letter, depending on how I type it. Um, this is another example where I just have the month and the day, not a whole placeable in Studio, but with the rule that I created here, I can get that. This is an example of, um, well, that's actually in the TM. This is an example of a number and the letter X meaning one time. So I have a rule created for that down here. And when I um, hit the number one, I get the suggestion from the regex match auto suggest provider. Because I had confirmed this earlier, I'm also getting the suggestion from the translation memory itself. Here, it's the same thing, but I have two separate rules, one for 1x and one for 2x or more, because the word that I need will change depending on whether it's one or more, the singular and the plural. And you see the rules here. So here, I hit 5, and I get my suggestion from the regex match auto suggest provider. The 100% match comes from an earlier um, trial that I was doing. For this one here, I have this number. If I check my placeables in Studio, I get two placeables separately, but I don't want that. I want that to read from 5 to 6, but in Spanish. And so I created a rule for that. And if I start typing, I get that. And of course, this will um, in this case, it's using the numbers 5 and 6, but it will use any numbers um, any numbers based on this rule, which is numbers that have one or two digits. For this one, we also see that there are some placeables there, but checking the placeables, we see that the placeables are, um, there are several parts to the placeable, and I don't want to do that. I want to get the whole thing in one keystroke. So with the rule that I created here for that, which is this one here for full phone numbers that follow this um, format, I simply click the first letter or the first number. And after typing that, I get the full number and just hit enter and I get that into the segment. This one here is interesting because um, the, this is a placeable and in fact it includes this. Um, but here, the only placeable is a number 7. And we can see that by going to the list of placeables in Studio. And we can see that the placeable for the time has a 0 in front of it. And I don't want that. I want to start exactly as it is here. Of course, I could modify it in my settings for auto substitution, but I don't want to do that. I simply want to be able to start typing my time, and that's it. Now, the rule that I set up here for the AM and PM 
um, does not include this type of format where you don't have the column and the two zeros or the two spaces for the minutes. So that's not being picked up. If I, if I want to pick that up, I simply need to modify the rule or create a new rule that um, includes just the number followed by AM or PM. So far with the rule that I have, that's all I get. Here's another example. Sometimes I get files that have a lot of numbers like this that are um, relatively uh, different from just regular numbers. The placeables, of course, are divided into two parts, and I would have to type the backlash myself. But with the rule that I created here, I simply type the first number, and then I get that. So this is the rule here to pick that up. And once again, just um, type 1, enter, and I get the whole number. And any variations of that number that fit the pattern, of course. Um, percent numbers, uh, maybe not so complicated, but just to have another possibility. If I use my shortcut for placeables, control out um, down arrow, of course I get the placeable. But it's easier to simply type the first number and get the placeable, or the regex substitution like this. Here's another interesting use that I found. Um, this is a word with the TM symbol next to it. And so I have a rule here. I created a rule here to find words that have TM at the end. Now, notice that this is the symbol itself. It's not um, the um, superscript form of TM that is sometimes used in some files. So here I simply type the first letter and I get the whole thing. And that, will that would apply to any word that has the TM symbol at the end. The next rule is similar to that, but it uses the registered symbol. So here I just do that and I get that. And that's it.